how do you change the physical man into the dimension of the soul? Dimension of the field. You have two choices, or maybe three, or if you are very knowledgeable, maybe four. As I explained to you, a couple of teachings back, that you can enhance the body of the man to take a new dimension and a new position, and then reconstruct the physicality. If you remember, I'm going to become back that artist who knows nothing about painting, and I give you the lips, and I give you the eye. The soul of the man has taken his position. The soul is aware of the environment of the gaseous, the solid and the liquid which he lives in. But in the dimension of the creation, he has what we call the plasma condition too, which is a field of strength of the others. These are in the matter state, this is in a field state. Somewhere in conjunction with the plasma and any of these inertia, this plasma can take shape of any of the three. But in essence, if we feed the man, the right field strength, be it through his digestion system, be it through his nose, we create a balanced situation field which can be at the strength of the soul of the man. You got to realize two points, that if you reach this point of being able to feed from what you take from the environment, by the law of the plasma, the energy within what you take must be stronger enough than the soul of the man that can feed the man. That he can elevate his level, that a certain point reaches the point of elevation and passes the boundary of the man, the man becomes. In the present science technology, the doctors tells you the heart of the man on average so works so many billion times in his lifetime, the normal life. So if you can calculate how many times each heartbeat has created the breathing of the lung and the food, and how much energy at what level is, you can estimate the time of the saturation of the soul of the man. That it becomes strong enough that it can take over the physicality and we call the point of death. In this process, man should be able to understand, have an idea, grasp the concept of this field in drips at a higher level, elevates the soul. Then it comes a question, are we getting, because of the pollution of the air, because of the bad conditions of the food, weaker and less energies, that this does not give enough energy to the soul to be able to create a point of separation. So, we need to live longer to be able to reach the point of saturation. The transformation that the soul of the man can overtake the, what we call soul of physicality or circulation of the blood which carries the soul of the man in dimension of field energy. This is what we call technological development. This is what we call the advancement in science that man can live longer and we have polluted the air, we have polluted our food, has created a weaker source of energies to elevate the soul of the man. So, the soul needs to wait longer to reach that point of saturation, where in the past could reach much easier. 
has the extension of the life of the man, understanding the work of the plasma, has come through the new technology, taking much weaker strength than it needs. So, through this point of interaction, we can control the strength of the soul. But, we can feed it in one end, but we have to encourage it to expand on the other side to become physicality. We showed this in the situation with Naomi. We placed, as you call it, the helmet. We showed the soul, it has a new dimension and direction. And with the interaction of the blood circulation, we managed to create the brain cells again back in a position. But if we would have pushed the system beyond this boundary, mankind would have seen a new life within the structure, where Naomi could transmute between the two. So, in a way, if we choose a helmet, a position that can encompass the whole of the soul, the same as our skull, and then we introduce a control of the fields, we should be able to create a condition for the man to be able to expand the soul of the man beyond his physicality. This is part of the first trainings. In a way, if you understand, if you have this call, you create a barrier, a system which allows the soul of the man to extend beyond the dimension of the physicality to the new position, while you are feeding it through a new position. In a way, you are using the brain of the man, and a position and a place to control the extension of the soul. But this cannot be a physical helmet, because then you have what you had with Naomi, completion of the physicality of the brain, but no further. Mankind has to learn that the interaction of these two fields can in create a new condition of the fields that goes beyond the physicality of the man and allows the soul of the man to take possession. But still, the brain man inside has a control of the thinking and understanding, and in this position, the soul of the man and the physicality of the man becomes irrelevant in the matter of state of its creation. It could be from amino acids, acid of this planet, it could be from solid matter of another planet, another position, as long as the field interaction can be controlled and dictated by the soul of the man, and the soul of physicality of the entity, man or any entity can travel the span of the universe without manifestation, to the decision of the point of the soul of the physicality, and understanding of the brain and the control system. Then you become independent of where you are born, independent of how you are born, as long as you can create this condition of understanding of the control of the totality in respect to manifestation of the physicality or the soul of man. If you look, if you understand, in so many ways, I gave you this opportunity in the enhancement unit. This is why I told you many times, sometimes we shall see through the window, the light. Where that helmet becomes the structure of the soul of the unit. Where the man sits within and his soul becomes part of the structure of the totality in the center. We allow the soul to expand. This is the purpose of the enhancement units, to take you out of the fear. When you want to drive, you don't sit behind, you don't sit in the chair in the living room and pretend you're driving mm -hmm, and change the gear. And then you go and they give you a key and say, you can drive, you learn how to boom boom in the house. You go and you sit in the car, you take the car for a drive, you change the gear, you play with the clutch and the brakes. This enhancement unit 
or that car, or that for you to learn how to extend and expand. This is the true essence why I introduced the enhancement unit. And from the beginning I explained to you, sometimes you might see a light. Now you understand the reason, now you understand the science and the technology behind it. Because when I expand the soul of the man beyond the dimension of the physicality of the man, where do you want a cancer to be? Or where you want to be fibromyalgia or MS? The field radiation going to expansion to dimension will eliminate rectify and clear all this. Then now you understand why you will not have any disease when you come out of the machine. Because now you understand the reason we introduced the enhancement unit, the vertical enhancement unit, the horizontal and the rest of it. <coughs> We are talking about a technology which is unknown to man. This is the technology of the universe. I am a man of universe. I created it and I live within the creation. You have to understand for us now to explain how your soul will extend beyond the physicality is because now with the reactor system we built, we have created that hat. We have created the helmet we gave to um, Naomi, now in the size of the womb of the mother. The small tongue, and the shape and position it in the back of the throat of the man, if you look, where does it look to? To the central gravity of the earth. Where its interaction will create a position, direction and physical condition of the man where the fields reduce, and you become thinner, whatever. This parallel position in a physical condition will teach about in the future. But in most of the animals, this point, in the pointing of, has been dictated very cleverly in the shape of a dot. It's a single cell, which does the same thing, dictates the direction of the flow and the shape of the animal. In the position of the stone, sits within itself, directly inside the soul of the stone. So, that's why we see no move. It's the third condition of the existence in attraction with the inertia of the physicality plus the what we call the magra of the environment. In so many ways, we try to enlighten you. This is why in the teachings of past few weeks, I explain in a very, very nice way, in a very soft way, that we introduce material that you put it in the back of your throat, that you control both ways. In a way, by positioning such a system, in a given position, as we discussed before, you, in a way, bring that point 
which is hanging in the back of your mouth, in position to elevate the soul and disconnect from physicality. Then you can make this here of different strengths and different penetration fields to what strength you want it to be. Now you understand the structure of the teacher. Now you understand how we are taking you slowly into the next step of understanding the science of the creation. <coughs> When you take the position and you cut the line of the information carry to the physical end by placing a new entity of energy order here, you reverse everything back to the top. In so many ways, mankind has to understand, now has the ability, the knowledge and the technology to be able to create this. As I said, we used to take a tablet of cyanide to enhance the physical part and create the death. Now we take a tablet of the soul of the plasma and we enhance the soul of the man for man to take the same dimension but in existence, not separation of the soul of physicality and the soul of the man. One is the sweet tablet of what we call enhancement and one is a bitter tablet of the death separation without physicality. This way, the new way, we carry the physicality and the soul of the man and soul of physicality together, because we sit within the framework of the brain of the man at its onset, at the bottom, where all the interaction of the fields of the physicality come into. In a way, mankind does not need the spine to behave life, mankind can use even the nerve system through the jaw to do the same. Because in a way, if you look at the jaw of the man, it gives you that freedom over the physicality. You can control the whole functionality of the man through his jaw. Movement of the arms and the legs and the heart and digestion system. We have shown this years ago. When we brought the first coma patient out, the connection between the neurosystem of the brain and physicality was cut, was distorted. We went through the jaw, we repaired through the fields of the jaw and then we connected the physicality by its own to its neural system. And even that time, we had a student, one of the doctors with us, had his daughter, who was becoming a scientist, attended to presence of the volunteer. And in coma, by fingers through the gum, through the jaw, she could dictate to the body, what to move. Does not need me to be there. It was done by a young girl. This understanding the position that the nerves, the neural system of the man is part of the distribution of the soul of the man. In a smaller measure contained and directed and channeled. 
this is why we always say, and you always see the neural system and the blood vessels, the soul of physicality and the soul of the man always move along each other in the body of the man. And interaction of their fields leads according to their strength and the position to the organs and the limbs and the rest of the man. The potential difference in the strength of the gravitational and magnetical dictates the shape, the position and the cell and the operation of 